Hi! Teacher Isai here and welcome to my channel. For today's video, I am going to discuss about ordinary and exact interest. But before that, if you have not subscribed yet to my YouTube channel, please don't forget to click on the subscribe button and hit on the notification bell for you to get notified every time I upload a new video. So let's get started! Our learning objectives we have at the end of the lesson, you should be able to differentiate ordinary and exact interest and use the appropriate formula in solving problems involving ordinary and exact interest. When the time for which a certain amount of money borrowed is given in several days, it is necessary to change the number of days to a fractional part of a year when substituting in the simple interest formula. Ordinary interest, it's the interest which is computed with a denominator of 360. We know that the formula in solving for simple interest is finding the product of the principal amount the rate and the time. To solve for ordinary interest, we have this formula I sub O equals P times R times number of days over 360, where I sub O stands for ordinary interest, P for principal amount, R for the rate, and the number of days over 360 is our T or time. For exact interest, the interest is computed with a denominator of 365. Going back to the formula in solving for simple interest, we have I equals PRT. To solve for exact interest, we have the formula I sub E equals P times R times number of days over 365, where I sub E stands for exact interest, P for the principal amount, R for the rate, and T stands for the time or the number of days over 365. Take note that ordinary interest is greater than the exact interest. And when the interest is not specified in any problem, it is assumed as ordinary interest. To understand more about exact and ordinary interest, Let's have these problems or examples. Find the ordinary and exact interest on 8,800 pesos for 85 days at 11 and 3 fourth percent simple interest. The given, we have the principal amount, which is 8,800 pesos. The rate, which is at 11 and 3 fourth percent or equivalent or equal to 0. 1175 time is given for 85 days to solve for the ordinary interest we have the formula p times r times number of days over 360 substituting the given we have p which is 8800 times r which is 0 0.1175 times number of days which is 85 over 360. Simplifying this equation, we have our ordinary interest equal to 244 pesos and 14 centavos. Now to solve for the exact interest, we have the formula P times R times number of days over 365. Substituting the given, we have 8,800 for the principal amount times R, which is 0 0.1175 times the number of days, which is 85 over 365. Simplifying this equation, we have our exact interest equal to 240 pesos and 79 centavos. Therefore, the ordinary interest is 244 pesos and 14 centavos, and the exact interest is 240 pesos and 79 centavos. Observe that the ordinary interest is greater than the exact interest. Second example, Jasmine invested 25,000 pesos 
at 9 and 7 8 percent simple interest for 125 days. Find the ordinary interest and the amount at the end of the term. The given in the problem is we have the principal amount which is 25,000 pesos, the rate which is 9 and 7 8 percent or equal to 0 0.09875, T is 125 days. The problem is asking for the ordinary interest. So we have the formula P times R times number of days over 360. Substituting the given, we have 25,000 pesos for P times 0 0.09875 for R times 125 for the number of days over 360. Simplifying this equation, we have our ordinary interest equal to 857 pesos and 20 centavos. The problem is also asking for the final amount. To solve for the final amount, we have the formula F equals P plus I sub O, where F stands for the final amount, P for the principal value, plus I sub O, which stands for the ordinary interest. So we have our principal amount, which is 25,000, plus our ordinary interest, which is 857 pesos and 20 centavos. Adding these two values, we have our final amount equal to 25,857 pesos and 20 centavos. Thus, the ordinary interest for 25,000 pesos invested at 9 and 7, 8 percent for 125 days is 857 pesos and 20 centavos. And at the end of the term, the amount will be 25,857 pesos and 20 centavos. Now try solving this problem on your own for one minute. Find the ordinary interest for 5,500 pesos for 95 days at 7 and 4 fifth percent simple interest. Timer starts now. Time's up. The answer is 113 pesos and 21 centavos. Now for the second problem. Find the exact interest on 7,700 pesos for 155 days at 10 and 1 fourth percent simple interest. Timer starts now.
is up? The answer is 324 pesos and 35 centavos.